CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Summit's on the air. All right, I think I'm heading up to Escadilla Butte. Do a quick hike. Hope a little chasing from up there. I'm going to meet uh, AA70Y Dale um, up at the trailhead. And uh, we'll activate this one together. <clears throat> it's 55 degrees. Solar flux is around 70. Um, beautiful day out here. It's uh, been raining. It's uh, September now, so it's been had a while to rain. Haven't really gotten the, the usual strong um, monsoonal weather like we normally do this time of year. Hopefully it'll come. So let's get out there. The grass is really getting tall up here. God, Dale, I'm tired of waiting for you all the time. Yeah. You know, I get up here and then I wait around and... What you get for hiking with old men? <laughs> uh, we're up here at uh, more or less the the trailhead for um, Escada Butte. I got up here a little bit late and then I've been screwing around with this camera setup, so... Um, I was just goofing around here with Dale. AA-70Y. AA-70Y here. So great team. Yeah. Well, half of one. <laughs> so, Chris and a rookie. <laughs> he's not a rookie. He's got a bunch under his belt. He's been going all over. He's, we've both already done this one, but we're trying to figure out what we do today and figure we'll go up there and see if we can't get a... We'll activate it again. So you can beat the rain. Yeah. So we just came up this little, little jeep trail, and now we're going to attack the mountain. The ground is damp, it's just beautiful. My objective today is to try to keep up with this guy. Go for it, Dale. <laughs> I see blue sky up there. That's a good sign. Good All right. We're in the activation zone. Dale back there. I had to run in front of him. So it looked like, you know, I'm in better shape. When I turn the camera on, my first day at altitude, a bit tough. Just beautiful up here. Forecast was 20%. So we'll see if we get some build ups from the south. All right, Dale is right over there setting up. We'll go check his station out in a, in a bit. I'm gonna try to make a few things work. So I brought a, uh, uh, a Verizon MiFi unit with me, cheapest possible plan. And uh, just to see if I can do, oh man, look at that. I got good service. So I put it up in the tree there and uh, I think it's got like, I don't know, a couple bars data. So I've got AT&T voice, but there's no data in here. So if you live in Arizona, you really need to have Verizon. They pretty much own this territory. If you're never, if you're never gonna leave Phoenix or Tucson, then AT&T I'm sure is fine, but it sucks up here, I'm telling you, comparatively. Um, I'm gonna try to make this little recorder work. 
I've had problems with it picking up RF in the past and not working, so I'm going to try it. around uh, 21 contacts um, I have two summit to summits one was from George KXOR um, who reached out to me so I haven't seen him spot yet so he must be just chasing from a mountaintop we're gonna go up here and uh, check out Dale Looks like he's got a nice little operating position going he's up on uh, 20 meter right now Hard yeah. at work here. Hard at work? Oh yeah, we're just knocking them dead. <laughs> <laughs> How many contacts you got? Oh, maybe 25 or so. Sweet. Yeah, I've got about 20, 21. Yeah. Uh, so, did George call you? He did. Um, cool, I need to get his summit ID because I screwed up the numbers. When I looked at it, it's like, wait a minute, I only have two numbers in here. <laughs> yeah. And then he was gone. Got your MTR 3B down here. It's rocking, let me tell you. <laughs> Knocking them dead. Yeah, it, that thing's awesome, I tell you. Tiny, <laughs> so tiny, tiny little it. radio, simple, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a lot simpler than that thing of mine with 100 buttons <laughs> oh, on yeah, it. <laughs> that's a pretty cool radio. <laughs> um, and you got your little paddles up there. That's a sweet little setup. You got a good operating position here with I the know, log like and being everything. I home on the couch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Armchair copies, they'd say. I am. Um, yeah, so I got KD6 YOB and. Colorado, I'm trying to get. Or yeah, I saw him over there on yeah, on 20, and I, I he hasn't was like, heard me yet. But <laughs> okay. But yeah, I'll keep trying. Um, yeah, I got one other um, KR7 RK. That's my he only other. He's gone off the air. I haven't. I haven't okay, heard. yeah, maybe he desummited. Yeah. So, well, cool. At least I have two summit summits. I gotta that's see cool. if I can get more. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> Take a little break. Got up here because you had the log and everything. I brought my chair, so. Oh yeah. But we're got a great view. Got some looks like some little popcorn coming up over Escadilla. Yeah, some out there, yeah. So it's kind of forming to the west of us. Yeah. Um, See how it goes. Here. It's nice to have data up here, so I can finally chase. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's cool. fun. Um, in the past, I haven't had data up here when I've come by myself, but yeah. I brought the little MiFi. Don't let me forget that thing because it's sitting up in a tree. That's his antenna. Hooked up here, he's got a little uh, link dipole, and it comes up to his little fishing pole here. Tiny little fishing pole, and it just works. It just really, really works well. It doesn't take much. And a um, little collapsible fishing pole. I've got some of these, but I forgot to bring them. So, nice, easy setup. So, let's head back down to my operating position, see if I can chase this guy. My own B. Sure is pretty up here. And I got super lucky the, as the sun's moving, it threw me right into the shade. So I'm pretty stoked about that. It's just a perfect operating position. Here's the radio. I couldn't get my recorder working right. It's picking up RF or something, so I need to screw with it. So let's get cracking. All right, 
right, finished up. Um, my closing comments at the end of the hike down uh, were not recorded. I'm not going to talk about that. But anyway, I uh, did pretty well. Got 28 contacts, and uh, six of those were summit to summits. So that's pretty cool. I was really happy I was able to get uh, some data up there on the mountain. That way I could do a little bit of chasing. Uh, Dale, uh, I think he had over 40 contacts, and I think he said four summit to summits. So a nice little outing. Uh, beautiful weather. We got just some sprinkles on us, and that was about it. So uh, really, really nice. Um, just to kind of spend the morning up there and activate, do a little bit of chasing. Um, even though we did it before, it's just a, a gorgeous hike. We're going to hit uh, Wall Knoll tomorrow. Um, another one that we've done, but uh, it's a beautiful hike. Should be really pretty uh, with the rain up here, green and everything up. So, yeah, good hike. So, 73, thanks for watching. Oh, one other thing. If uh, you want to know more about uh, Summits on the Air and how to do it, I created a series called Soda 360. Uh, part one is about how do we find a summit, uh, why do it, and uh, some of the planning that goes into it uh, is, is number two. Uh, then the number three, um, do an actual activation. And then part four is how do we upload the logs and why do you want to do that and some other kind of cool features of Soda Maps. So um, check that out. Um, a lot of people tell me that helps them out, kind of gets them going uh, up on the doing soda. So uh, check out the series on my YouTube channel. So till then, next time, 73.